As the UK left the European Union, it is also time to depart from the Eurovision Song Contest to save taxpayer money, Conservative MP Sir Mike Penning said. In January 2021, the UK finally departed the European Union following the 2016 referendum vote. MP Sir Mike Penning suggests it is now time for the UK's next departure, this time from the famed Eurovision Song Contest set to be held in May 2022 in Turin, Italy. Sir Mike argued this move would save valuable taxpayers' money and allow the UK to escape the show which has become a rather odd display of political alliances and an embarrassing event for UK entries. Sir Mike insisted the substantial financial contribution made by the UK towards Eurovision is a waste of taxpayer money. He told GB News, the Eurovision Song Contest is the most political thing that would touch most people's lives. We all see and watch it. We all know we're going to come last. We all know Greece is going to vote for Cyprus, and the whole Eastern Bloc. At the end of the day, I don't think most of the British public know that we pay for the Eurovision Song Contest. He continued, the taxpayer pays for it and that's the only reason why we're always in the final. We can't not qualify for the final. And the other thing, is Australia in Europe? IWASNT very good in school but IDIDNT think Australia was in Europe. And yet our friends are in the Eurovision. This is balmy. Each year, the BBC pays a licensing fee in order to secure the rights to broadcast the Eurovision Song Contest and these funds are secured through taxes on the UK population. The Tory MP, who has been representing the constituency of Hemel Hempstead since May 2005, has filed a motion in the House of Commons to withdraw the UK from the competition. This motion calls upon the BBC to no longer spend the licence fee on an event designed to humiliate the UK. Eurovision attracts millions of viewers each year but Sir Mike claimed the Eurovision Song Contest is the most political thing that would touch most people's lives. The two semi-finals and final of the 2021 contest had an estimated total of 183 million viewers worldwide. In the UK, over 7 million viewers tuned in to watch the country's battle for victory.